Let's go ahead and get started. Hello and welcome to another Inverted Access stream. Tonight we'll be taking a look at I Am Bread from Bossa, Bosa or Bossa Studios. Not sure how to pronounce it. It is kind of like a, it's kind of like a simulator, a bread simulator. I don't think this is really how bread lives, but that's what it is. Um, and yeah, it has fairly recently been ported to the PlayStation 4. It's been on PC for a little while. Um, I should probably put PS4 in the title. Oh well. And yeah, let's go ahead and get going. We have a review for this game coming out tomorrow, so we thought it'd be a good time to show it off on Twitch for a little bit. So this is the first level. You take place in the kitchen. Um, you can kind of see me flopping around a little bit. Whoops. Each of the corners of the bread corresponds with one of the trigger buttons, and that's actually how you move around in the game. Man, my house is getting warm. It's been warm today. And so your goal in each level is to get to your goal is to toast the bread. Of course, all bread wants to be toast. That's just, you know, a natural fact in life. Um, so your goal is to, like, get to a heat source that will toast your bread. So you can see over there there's a toaster. It's even steaming a little bit. It's pretty far in the distance. But that's kind of a clue of what you can use. All right. You can also do some other fun things here. It, it'll take me a minute so not good. But here's, like, a, 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 a jar with jelly in it. So I can kind of lather myself in jam. See, I got the whole backside covered. Ah, oh, don't flip over. Whoa. Let's see how the other side looks. Yeah, good enough. So I got some yummy jam on there. There's some butter we can put on here. So yeah, you can do fun, kind of fun stuff. It actually improves your score a little bit in the deliciousness category. You're actually scored on deliciousness. So, kind of having issues here getting this stupid stuff off the butter. Yeah, wasn't that some sweet jam slathering? Now we got some butter, supposedly. I'm wondering if you can't do both of them at once. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and make our way over to the toaster. Flop onto this chair. Get the chair to flop. That way, kind of. Need to fall down a bit. Oh, too far. There we go. Now I can climb up the chair. I actually hold my controller weirdly for this game. Ah, uh, stay up. Um, I have both my fingers, both my index, and my middle fingers on the trigger buttons. So I made it to the counter, getting closer to the toaster. Those are little ants, I'm not sure how well they're, they're showing on the stream. They're little crawling around that old food, so you don't want to touch them as it ruins your edibility. Just think about it. Monkey, you can answer this for us. Would you enjoy eating a piece of bread? that has ants on it. Think long and hard about that one. And also welcome to the stream, monkey. We're happy to have you. That's a royal we. So now we're very poorly trying to climb this fridge. You can actually climb up walls and everything. Kind of a silly game, to say the least. Uh oh, there we go. I'm trying to straighten out. Uh, my grip is dying. You have to watch your grip, so it looks like I'll stick right there. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better, so I can start flipping upwards. 
But yeah, you can climb walls, you can climb counters, and pretty much whatever you want. There we go. Hey, Stotch. <laughs> you would do it on a dare, huh? Well, that's that's mighty brave of you. You can pick up items here. So, like, here I just picked up this box. I could just kind of flop it backwards and get it out of my way. Um, you can kind of throw items. I'm not very good at it, but you definitely can't do it. Um, there's water. Water's bad. We'll go over this wall right, right here. So the controls take some getting used to, but they're actually not too bad at all. Like part of the game, part of the fun of the game is kind of like learning to master and fighting with the controllers. Um, I'm not sure if anyone played Surgeon Simulator. This is by the same developer as them. This game's infinitely better than that game. Hey, Rencrest, welcome. I am white bread. I'm about as white bread as they come. So I can try and toss myself, which is what I'll try and do. You could also climb the wall, but that's no fun. Ah, it's a bad toss. So when you're on the ground, you lose edibility. Not for Monkey. He would eat ground bread, no problem. But the average person doesn't want to eat bread that sits on the ground. Anyway, we've made it to the toaster. And there's actually a few other things. I don't think the microwave would work. The oven would, as well as the stove. Maybe I should go do the stove. I like the stove better. The toaster takes me a while to get in there. So you can see my health or edibility in the corner slowly counting down. In the later levels it's far more. We can even do the oven, but I'd probably have to turn it on, which would be a pain. Whoops. Now I'm in trouble. Why are you sticking to that? What the hell? L2 and L1. Yep, I might be screwed here. About twelve percent, but I really don't have anywhere to go. See, now I have this nice, dirty piece of bread, all because I didn't want to use the stupid micro, the stupid toaster. Now I'm kind of stuck on this counter. There we go. There we go. Made it. Barely made it. Hey, bums. Welcome. Yeah, floor bread is pretty good. At least it still has jam on it, even if it, you know, is floor bread. Anyway, so got to hit these little switches to turn on the stove so that that little, I don't know, what do you, what do you call a single, a single thing on the stove? A burner, I guess, would be what it's called. But I got the burner on, so let's go ahead and toast myself here. You have to toast both sides. Come on. Crawl a little bit, there you go. You can see my little toaster score popped up over there in the corner. Ooh, TV shopping, nice. Do you need a new one or you just want a new one? So this one's at 100, so we'll flip it over. Wiggle my other one back on there, the other side, whoops. Sometimes it's better to just wiggle than try and get cute and do things. See, now I'm burning the other side of the toast. The wiggle takes forever, but at least it works, you know. Sometimes you can overdo things with the triggers. There we go. Just a bit more, perfect. Hey Thomas, welcome to the stream. This is I Am Bread. A kind of a goofy bread simulator. So I got a. So you get at the end of each level, you get a ranking. It would have been better if I didn't lose, spend so much time on the ground, losing all my edibility. Um, you can see a nice little pun there. Needs improvement. So, but besides that, that's pretty much how you do it. There's seven levels in the game. That that first level will take you a lot longer than it took me on this run. Oh, cool, Bumps. 
there's a small semblance of a story in this game told by these little doctors slips the therapy barn basically the guy is reporting to the doctor that his house is getting trashed and the piece of bread is always sitting around so yeah he's kind of going insane the bread uh, no there's actually no touchpad controls which I'm kind of happy about you control it using the triggers L1 L2 R1 and R2 um, you kind of flop around using those four triggers. I'll try and get in here and get some butter. I suck getting in this pan. Get in there. There we go. That one will flop me in. I should anyway. Butter myself up. Um, so same thing. You kind of got to look for a heat source. So there's a TV which actually can be used. I'll show you guys how. There's also the radiator, which is what I used the first time. Probably the clearest heat source here. You can also use light bulbs if you want, but they're kind of hard to get stuck to and use. So I got some nice buttery toast now on this side. It's all glossy. Gotta get over to that couch. Again, we have jam. I'm not gonna bother jamming myself too much. Fun, one of the fun things in the game is launching yourself like that and then trying to catch on to what you're going for, you know? Um, it's, that's one of the most successful things when you do a good launch like that. Hey, Fatality. <laughs> yeah, they were, they're were they kind of trippy. Um, I mentioned it earlier. It's by the same guys that did Surgeon Simulator. Have any of you guys played that? That's another really kind of goofy, insane game. It's not by the guys who did Goat Simulator, but it's another game you could compare it to. That one's a little bit more of like a physics playground. Well, I mean, this one is too. I'd say this is very physics-y, very playground-y, if you will. So we're trying to make it to the TV. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I agree with that. Bread is crazy. Quite a crazy little concept. Oh, let's play as bread. Um, but it, it works fairly well. Um, once you get used to the controls, it actually works way, 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 way better than Surgeon Simulator. A game that I didn't really care for. Oh, oh, not really what I was going for. There we go. Nope. Shit. Try and stay safe on the couch for a minute. Nope, all the way back to the ground. As you can see, I'm not very good at it. Ooh, grilled cheese sounds good. Maybe I'll make that later tonight. Fatality, have you paid, played this on Steam? It's fun to watch? Well, good. Okay, flop over that way. Uh, well, that didn't work very well. I need to get, um, I'm not that far. So you kind of, uh, I do anyway. Some people can probably move around a lot better than me. I kind of try and set things up straight and flop my way towards stuff. As you can see, I'm kind of, basically every objective in front of you, you can touch. Um, and it kind of gets in your way. My phone is making weird noises. It's currently on PC and PS4 right now. It's not on Xbox One. Uh, I don't think Surgeon Simulator made it to Xbox One either, so maybe these guys aren't developing for the Xbox One at the moment. Flip over here, grab onto something, man. God, yeah, I'm screwed now. Oh. I'm not good at all at this game, so. You guys are gonna have to hopefully be patient with me. It's not, it looks bloody, it's actually jam. Yeah, the, the final level had me kind of raging out a little bit. I'm not gonna be able to climb this. Maybe I can climb the outside of it. Still seems unlikely. Whoops. Push 
of stupid books out here. Nope, they're not gonna go, huh? Whoa, thought I flipped myself all the way off. Man, I'm screwed. Can't believe I fell. Yeah, flipping myself up there is gonna take a hell of a move. Yeah, Surgeon Simulator, I couldn't get into it all. Surgeon Simulator controls way too stupidly to be any fun, unfortunately. Yep, I'm done. We'll try that level again. Try it maybe with a better plan this time. I'm trying to think how I did it last time. Also, one thing, Ren, I mean, I'm not sure it would ever change your mind on this, but if you fail a few times, this magical marmalade appears next to the spawn point, and you can actually uh, play, the, play the levels with like 100% health and 100% grip. If you've noticed, there's a grip bar across the top that you uh, have to pay attention to. You can't hold on to things forever. I'm actually going to try and launch myself and see if I can't get over there forego everything else. No, I'm gonna die. Yeah. That didn't work at all. No one wants floor bread. So the, the marmalade's there, I'm not going to use it, but it's that glowing yellow thing right there because I've failed twice. The game's like, oh, you suck. Let's toss you some marmalade. Whoops. There we go. Off the couch. There we go. Now I need to... Uh, there's really no good answer unless I can get onto one of those shelves. We'll try it. Sometimes, yeah, see, I just flop myself and hope for the best. That one worked out really well. Break the urn. Doesn't look like it has ashes in it, at least. Now we want to get on top of that, which shouldn't be too tough. Whoops, don't want to go any higher than that, but we'll flop this way. Hold on, yes. Made it. Whoops. Not good. This way. The buttons I'm still not perfect with. Sometimes hard to see. I wish they were a little bit more distinctive. They're all like the exact same color and basically the same shape, which I mean is how the trigger buttons look, so there's not really a good solution to that, but it's sometimes hard to tell which button you need to press. Okay, let's start heading over. Okay, I need to make my way down. You can see my grip bar is starting to uh, fall. Drop, so there we go. This game is bullshit. Why bullshit? <laughs> I know, it's it's not a very accurate simulator, unfortunately. Hopefully you didn't waste the piece of bread. So what you gotta do here is actually knock the bowling ball, on, on, bowling ball onto the TV. Very slowly. That breaks the TV and makes it like warm enough to actually toast me now. Pretty 
pretty slow, but it will get there. I think. I'm trying to think if I ever actually beat it this way. Yeah, it's slowly getting there. Oh, it's not toasting me anymore. Is there hotter spots that I'm missing or something? There we go, it's toasting a little bit. Stupid bowling ball. Come on, bowling ball, get out of my way. There we go. There we go. So it's, that count, well it is a little bit burned, but that counts as toasted even though it's only the bottom toasted. And there we go. I got a C on that one, aren't I good? phone. So I'll bitch about my phone. Since that's what I've been working on for the next, for the last hour. So I got home, you know, no problems with my phone. Got home, turned on to the Wi-Fi, and all of a sudden it decided to constantly reboot every couple minutes. And I don't know why, but it would get, it would go through the booting process. Uh, sorry, one second. All right, my phone would go through the booting process and about two minutes later it would start it all over for no reason. So I had to, first I did, decided to boot it up in safe mode and, and clear out the cache, but that didn't do anything. It kept happening, so I had to actually do a faculty reset. So now I have to redo every single setting on my phone that I've used for the last two years. Welcome, Zero. C's aren't that bad of a grade. Actually, I actually didn't get very many C's. I was a super nerdy. Oh, I got a Band-Aid stuck to the bread. Apparently that's not delicious. We'll start over. Ah. There we go. No one wants Band-Aid toast. <laughs> hey, Gator. So yeah, I'm not terribly happy with my phone. Luckily, my contacts are saved apparently on Microsoft's on through Office because I had a Windows phone. So once I synced that back up, a lot of my contacts came out, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Hey, Pancakes, you got this game, right? Mr. I buy every game. We are going to the... This one was hard. I think I ended up tr using the the light bulb, which was really hard to use. So, yeah, this level was hard. One of the tougher ones, actually. Yeah, I regret my ways now, but back then I liked it. it I actually like the operating system. I'm not a big fan of Microsoft anymore as some of our longtime viewers would know. But no bias here. Whoops. Wrong button. So we'll chill here, let my grip regenerate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall down. There we go. Like a Saturn, a car, or a Saturn, the, the console? Whoops. I 
<laughs> They're not making a whole hell of a lot of them anymore. Isn't even AT&T not have any new models out, I thought I read. I like my Windows Phone fine. I like getting achievements on it, that was fun. The later levels, the walls are actually dirty too, like there's a bathroom level where they're like moldy and stuff, so you can't just like climb across walls either, you really have to avoid the objects in the level. Whoops. Let's go ahead and rest. Oh, I was gonna try and get to the, not that I'll make the jump, but we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna try and get to this ironing board, so let's see how that goes. I think that one would be easier than this stupid hair dryer thing. Get on there. Huh. Interesting. I could see that. I mean, that's kind of Microsoft's bread and butter is the, their whole office suite and stuff makes them a ton of money. Obviously, the operating system makes them a ton of money too, but they make a ton of money on that operating or on the office suite. So here goes nothing. Let's move this plate out of the way if we can. Doesn't explain why the bread moves. The story is more about the owner of this house. Hell yeah, what a shot. Look at that shot. Amazing. Hey, Plat King. The story's about the owner of the house who's going crazy because his bread is trashing his house. Whoops. Don't knock it over. There we go. Stupid Xbox achievements. No one gives me credit for them. That's the worst part, Bums. Like I have twelve thousand between the between the Xbox and the PS systems. I have like twelve thousand achievements, but no one gives me credit for the Xbox ones. And I know people still have more. Like Stotch has more achievements than I, than I do. Andy has more trophies than I do. So I need no. That's the wrong side. I need to flip this around like this. There you go. No. So no. To, to, oh, don't burn the bread. There we go. Nope. This is gonna take a while, but I think we'll get there. Oh no, my grip. I was like, why is my phone, why is my controller rumbling? My grip was dying. And I'm over toasting this bread on one side. Hey, I'm top, I'm top 6,000 on trophies now, so just keep that in mind. Oh, am I ahead of you on achievements? I thought you were ahead of me still. Or not still, but always. Oh, fuck. And that nice, delicious looking bread is all gone now. Well, I think that's about it. I can't remember such. I think that's about it for I Am Bread. It's a it's a pretty goofy, fun game. Uh, I, I I think it's pretty fun. I had some good time with it. Definitely not for everyone, but for some people, it can be a good time. Um, 